Last week I talked about the lookup tables that are used to determine your cartridge and tonearm resonance and why you shouldn't bother using them. Now let's talk about the resonance limits that are commonly talked about. That is the 8 hertz and 12 hertz resonance limits that we are told that your cartridge and tonearm should be matched so that they are, they fall, the resonance of the system falls between those two limits. Now I can agree with the 12 hertz upper limit. I can agree with that. You don't want to get too close to the lowest frequencies that occur in musical playback. But I cannot agree with the 8 hertz lower limit. I take significant issue with it. In a very important 1977 uh, study by Bruhl and Kerr on the question of mechanical transcription and the uh, resonance of the system, they arrived at the conclusion that our playback system should fall within those two bounds, 8 hertz and 12 hertz. But laced throughout the study was an assumption that I reject. And that assumption is that we have to live with record warps and with mechanical feedback getting from the environment to the table. These are the only reasons why there is an 8 hertz lower limit, which is just far too high. In my opinion. So why are warps a problem with this 8 hertz limit? Well it's not the frequency of the warp because the warp will come around once every revolution and on 33 rpm that's less than a half hertz. So it's not the frequency. It's actually the angle of attack of the warp. So you, you can, you've seen this before where you've got if you look closely at the cartridge during playback you see it every revolution doing one of these bumping up bumping up. That's the cartridge of course reacting to a warp. It's the rapidity, the velocity with which it changes direction. That is what can upset that 8 hertz lower limit. But there's no reason to live with warps any longer. Of course, there's vacuum hold down, there's edge clamps, but then there's my favorite, record flatteners. If you choose not to live with warps, then you eliminate one of the most significant reasons why this 8 hertz lower limit even exists. With this 8 hertz lower limit no longer holding us back, we can change tone arm design and make tone arms with a much higher effective mass. Why is a high effective mass preferential in a tone arm? Well, perhaps you've watched the video on the most important location in the turntable, the pivot of the cantilever. Maybe that'll start to give you an idea. I think watching that video will go a good ways in explaining the situation. Okay, so now you've eliminated warps, what's next? Well, then you have to worry about low frequency vibration entering your turntable system through the environment, like footfalls, um, or your subwoofer speaker putting high, uh, low frequency energy into the floor, which goes into your rack, which goes into your turntable, and eventually finds its way to the, the cartridge. This is addressed simply by decoupling your turntable from the environment and there are right and wrong ways of doing this and of course I've done a video on that the difference between isolation and decoupling and what some people claim is isolation and decoupling and I've demonstrated this advantage of living with a very high effective mass system well with the Colossus head shell that we now have available for uh, Kuzma four point tone arms and of course uh, the most celebrated tone arms that I can think of, um, certainly today and in years past, have all had very high effective mass. Some of the designers don't even want to tell you how high the effective mass is because then they'd have to go into explaining why we shouldn't have to worry about that 8 hertz lower limit. Others, like Kuzma with the Saphir, are pretty courageous by telling you, yeah, their arm has a an effective mass of 60 grams, 60, which is off the scales. You wouldn't have dreamed of making such a high effective mass tone arm just a few decades ago. But when you hear it, you can see the advantage. I'll continue this topic next week on the next Soundbite video. See ya.